Hey everyone, this is be an unboxing of the Surfon 10.4 inch tablet pro here. This is from Walmart. Flip this guy on over. Uh, so again, tablet pro 10.4, 1200 by 2000 resolution LCD touchscreen, 64 gigabytes of storage, which is expandable. 2 gigahertz active core processor with 3 gigabytes of RAM, up to 17 hours of battery life, which is quite a bit of battery life. Uh, it comes with Google Kids Space and Entertainment Space apps, and it is uh, made with aluminum body, which is very, very cool. So this was $129 at my local Walmart, uh, at least here in the US. So quite cheap. And I do like these boxes, you pull on that, and it lifts up the tablet a little bit, which is pretty cool. Come back to that in just a moment here. Uh, so you have a little bit of paperwork, you do have a, I'm gonna guess this is, yeah. Oh, nope, so this one's USB-C to USB-A. If you get the 11 inch version of this, it's USB-C to USB-C. Uh, so that is different. Let's see, then you also have a charger here. So another difference, this is only 10 watt. With the 11 inch version, you actually get a 20 watt charger. Uh, so a bit of a difference there in charging wattage. There is the tablet itself. It is a nice modern looking tablet. Of course, I don't have it turned on just yet. I'll get there in just a moment here. Looking around the tablet, we have a power button, volume rocker, mic. Right there is your expandable storage with a micro SD card. Down here, a little bit dusty, I thought it was scratched. Uh, you have a headphone jack, your USB type C. Kind of a weird spot for your speaker. Kind of like we're in the smack dab in the middle. Looks to be nothing on that side. More dusty weirdness going on here. Uh, then we have another speaker. And then we have the back camera right there. And then the front facing camera is right here. Hard for y'all to see. It does turn on right away. On right away. Let's go ahead and do a quick start up of this setup of this here. We're gonna do English, of course. Go ahead and hit start. Next, I'll ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. Then it will say getting your tablet ready. It may take a few minutes, so we'll come back in a minute or two. Next, it will ask you if you want to copy apps and data. I do not, so I'm gonna hit don't copy. But of course, you can do that. And you can copy it from a different tablet or phone or what have you. Then I'll check for more information. And then I'll ask you if this will be used for an adult or a teen or a child. I am an adult, so I'll be hitting that option. Next, I'll ask you if you want to sign into your Google. You can skip it or you can go ahead and sign into it. Then I'll ask you about Google services, location, scanning. I always turn off scanning for myself. You can keep that on if you want to. Uh, and sign usage and diagnostic data. Then you can set a pin. I'm going to skip it. Uh, so I'll be the only one. I'll be the only one using this tablet, um, and there's going to be no personal information on it. And you can tell Google with a power button, or hit Manage in Settings right there, and then we can turn off Hold for Assistant, uh, or you can keep that on if you want to. Then you can talk to your assistant. Turn that off will allow you to actually use the power button as a power button. System navigation, you can use gesture or three button navigation. I prefer three button navigation myself. It will give you the back button, the home button, and then the uh, other apps button. All right, then we are on the main screen here. Swiping on up there. So there's actually not too many crazy different things. Uh, most of this is, uh, almost all of this is Google stuff. Uh, so sound recorder and then more Google stuff. Uh, so it doesn't come with too, too much bloatware on here. Then for storage wise, it has used up nine and a half gigabytes of storage. 6.1 of that is through system. 3.4 gigabytes is through the apps. And then there's nothing else on here. Uh, so it has 64 gigabytes total. But of course, because it has this other stuff, you're not actually having 64 gigabytes. So it's used up nine and a half. So you have basically, what, 54-ish gigabytes or so. And there we go, that is the unboxing and the setup of the OnSurf Pro 10.4 inch. Again, this one was $129.
I also bought the 11 inch version. You guys check out that video if you want to. Uh, that one is $159. There is a $30 difference. Uh, for $30 though, you do get a bigger device. You also get more storage. Uh, you also get more RAM amongst, I'm sure, other things. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. I'll be doing comparisons with this tablet as well as the 11 inch uh, versus like my Samsung and my Apples and whatnot and my Amazons. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.